Hello Aces and welcome to the first video on my channel. Before we begin, please take a moment to scroll down and click the subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the like button and ring the bell for more amazing videos to come. Thank you, I really appreciate what you've done for the channel. Let's go! In ERLC, when you click the menu button, you can see that there are five teams, civilian, sheriff, firefighter, police, and DOT. This series will continue to include the other four teams. On the civilian team, you can do three things. Do nothing and wait for a $500 to $700 paycheck every 10 minutes. Number two, get a job and do tasks for an $800 to $1,200 paycheck. Or you can be a criminal earning $10,000 every 10 minutes with an added $500 to $700 paycheck. Since I don't want to do nothing, let's start with all the civilian jobs in ERLC. It's very easy to find a job because all you have to do is click menu, click roleplay jobs, then set the waypoint on any job that you fancy here. I will go through all the jobs in this video. So our first job is going to be the postal worker, which is delivering mail from the post office. Set waypoint. You can see that the waypoint is set here. And when you press M, which is map, you can see that the job is here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the car spawner. Spawn the Chevron Antelope, the starter car. And Let's get a move on to the post office job. So I'm just going to move around these cars here. I'm going to turn right, signal light on, and then I'm going to make a left here. Then I'll just continue along this road until here where I will turn right. And the post office is just over here. So you can just pull into the parking lot here and step out of the car. It's very easy to accept a job because all you have to do is step into the yellow circle, press E, and start the job. You can press the briefcase at any time to quit the job or to see what you can do as, as the postal worker or any other job. Okay, so in the postal worker, you have a nice uniform here, and then you can collect the mail. So when you collect the mail, it adds four pieces of mail to your inventory. Mail one, mail two, mail three, and mail four. Your job is to deliver this mail to all the locations on the map. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'm gonna spawn a vehicle, go to the car spawner, and spawn the mail truck, which is a very realistic looking mail truck over here. So I think I'm gonna be going here because they're actually pretty close together, these two. So I'll just go here and pull onto the road. And this, while this car isn't the fastest or the most maneuverable, it does the job. And it's just over here, turn left, Make another left, and the two drop-off points are just here. So this one, it's mail one, and this one, I believe, is mail three. Yes, okay, mail three. Let's go to the other two locations on the map, which are over here in the housing suburbs also pretty close together so I'll just go along this road make a left here the, this farmland is actually very beautiful it has been recently enlarged in the last major update in the RLC so yeah here and here so I will slow down turn left and let's see over here so this two-story house so this is mail two and for our last one 
meal for is just over there. Okay. The post office job is actually a very simple job and it's very easy and you are able to get a lot of job points for this. So over here, house number 7051, yes. Okay, so our last meal to deliver is meal four and we have delivered all packages. So guys, that's it for the post office job. Let's move on to the next job. Okay, so I'm just gonna click the briefcase icon and quit my job. I have already respawned at the sieve spawn here. Shavlon Antelope. And let's move on to the next job, which is the hospital worker job. The hospital worker job is actually one of the most high paying jobs in ERLC. So I'll just wait for this red light and I think I'll just maneuver around these. Okay, so the light's green. I maneuvered around the police cars. The light's green to here. Let's turn right. Whoops, another red light. The brakes aren't good on this car, but it will have to do. It's just over here. So, over here, hospital. Yes, another red light. Make sure we turn our signal light on and light's green and turn it on. Okay, we will make another right here and then we will make another right here. So, I'm just gonna pull into the parking lot at the hospital. I love the sign on the front of the hospital. It says, Heroes Work Here, which is actually very realistic because you see that in most hospitals. Okay, emergency room and hospital job. Press E, start the job and got it. So here in the hospital job, this is actually just a role play job. There are no vehicles or tasks that come with it. There are just three items inside your inventory that are added to. Number one is the otoscope. You can do this. You can use this for checking in your patient's ears. The clipboard, you can write down patient's info. And the stethoscope, which of course you use to measure your patient's heart rate. So guys, that's all for the for the hospital worker job. You can actually change your clothes into nurse's scrubs, and that's all. So guys, I have already quit the job, and night has fallen, so we better get on with this. So role play jobs, taxi and limo worker. So in this job, you get to drive a taxi. So Chevron, Antelope, and where is my car? There, just find it. Okay, so it's just over there. So the light's green, then I'm gonna be making a right right here, and yellow light, so that's fine. And here is a red light. Light's green, let's pull into the parking lot at the Liberty County Taxi and Limousine, and let's reverse. Let's go inside and I'm going to accept the job here. It's just in the front office. So taxi job, start job. You have a nice suit coat as your uniform here. Yeah. I'm just heading to the taxi spawn lot over here, which is here. I'm going to the taxi spawner. Yes, taxi sedan. This one. Very nice taxi. Very realistic looking. I'll see taxi. Yes. Okay. So, this is one of the few jobs that actually does work. So, when you're a civilian, you can press your cell phone and you can press taxi and limousine service. A call will be sent to all available taxi and limo service workers. If nobody comes within five minutes, your call will be canceled. Your location will automatically be sent to the drivers. Please stay in place. So if there are any taxi drivers online, they will come and pick you up. So guys, that's all for the Liberty County Taxi and Limousine. Our next job is this one. I'm just gonna quit the job here. Okay, so this is our next job, the three guys burgers and fries job, which is actually just right beside it. The Liberty County Taxi and Limousine to press E, start job and got it. 
The thing that I like the most about this job is the food truck. So the food truck, it's gonna spawn in the three guys parking lot over here and we're just gonna pull up over here. Let's, let's open the back of the food truck, switch and get the tray, add burger, add fries and add drink. You can serve players through here. Okay, so that's it for the three guys burgers and fries. Yeah, very nice food truck here. Very nice overall system. Yeah, that's all. Okay, next job. Okay, I'm gonna click the briefcase icon, quit the job. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the former job, yeah. So the former job is actually way out in the suburbs there. So we'll have quite a long drive. So I'm just gonna go along here. I'm gonna make a right, right here. The, yeah, it's over here. So let's just wait for the light to become green. Light's green and yep, I'm just going to be going here. I'm going to turn left at this intersection and lights on. Always make sure that your lights are on. And I will turn right on the wooden bridge over here yes over here and the former job is here this barn here so there's actually already a tractor that has been spawned by another worker here so i think i'll be joining him oh man i'm being chased oh man this guy's running away from these criminals no, please don't do that to the officer. Okay, so farmer jobs, torque job. This is actually the job with the most clothing. So there's the red, there's the white, and there's the blue. So I'm gonna be joining this guy here. I don't have enough money for the farm tractor, so I think I'll be just joining this guy. So I'll show you guys the things here. So the things in your inventory. Number one is the garden tool or the hoe, I think, then the rake, then the shovel. So these are all just role play items. Pretty cool job overall. Okay, next job. We're gonna quit the former job. Over to the next role play job, which is the gas station. One of my most favorite jobs. So Chevron Antelope, it's fun. It's just right there. Whoops, red light. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna be turning left here. There, green light, and the job is just here. Yes, the job is just here. So, over here at the gas and go, you can just step in into the middle of the counter, start the job, and we're hired. So we have the gas and go uniform and we have staff only. So you can change the clothes and I'm just going to be sticking to this one. You can spawn the vehicle which is the fuel tanker. There is only one vehicle here. And the fuel tanker is a very realistic looking truck. It's, it doesn't actually like have any other features. But yeah, that's it for the gas job. Okay, quit the job. Next job is the news worker here. News worker, overall one of the most useful jobs in Liberty County. My car is just over there, spawning in. News job is here. Make a left and yes. Whoops, yellow light. Make sure not to run that. So green light. And the news worker job is actually very close. It's just here. Yes, this is the news worker. Channel 5, River City News. So I'll just step through here. And the job can be taken here in this corridor. You have another nice suit coat and uh, overall another nice studio. So you have the microphone, which is working. So the microphone, you're speaking. 
the person you're interviewing is speaking. So it actually does work. And for the last one, let's go outside, is the camera. It does work. You can use this for recordings. So toggle camera and you can have like a cinematic view here. So pretty cool. Okay. And the River City News does have a vehicle. The vehicle is the news van. It spawns on top of the parking garage there. So the news van is here. Yeah, so that's all for the news job. Next job. Okay, let's quit the job. And we already did the taxi and limo worker in fast food restaurant. So my favorite job is next to the bank worker. Let's get the shovel and envelope. What I like about the bank worker is that this is the only job that allows you to have guns. Oh, I'm so sorry. That allows you to have guns in the game. So before we go and accept the job, let's get a gun first. So I'm going to turn right here and then I'm going to make another left here and I'm just going to go down the road from here to the gun store. So the gun store is here. So guys, I pulled up at the gun store and I'm going to get a Remington 870 pump action shotgun, one of the best shotguns in game. And I think probably the strongest shotgun in game. So this one. I'm gonna use this to defend the bank. Okay, so let's go to the bank. Reverse our vehicle and okay. So we won't be able to enter at the back of the bank because we are not yet a bank worker. So we are gonna enter at the front of the bank. So here we go. Pull into the bank's parking lot and go in and take the bank job. So start the job and yes. Okay, so we changed our clothes. I like this suit of clothes more because it's like a security guard's clothes. I have a fellow bank worker here, yeah. Pretty nice to have friends here, oh my gosh. Okay, so normally when you would when you would defend the bank, you would normally just sit here and wait for that to say alarm active. That would mean that someone would was shooting the bank door. But, oh, is this guy gonna rob the bank? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Wait, we gotta keep them out of the bank. Oh my gosh, I died. Oh my gosh, I wasn't able to protect it using my shotgun. Oh my gosh, let's respawn. Guys, let's respawn quickly. I never knew that would happen. That's incredible. No way, okay. I'm gonna, I have to get ready to take on those guys. Let's go. Come on, come on. Turn left here. I gotta defend this bank. Or else they're gonna get away with it. Come on. Okay, my car is smoking now. Oops, they hit the back vault. Okay, I'm just, oh my gosh, that's my money. And this is my buddy's money. No, 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 they killed. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and keep them. I'm gonna try and shoot at them from here. So come on, come on out. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Let's get these guys. There, the gas is coming up. There we go, got them. They're dead. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I was ejected from the bank. It says, do not attempt to enter a restricted area. So tear gas is all over the back now. Okay, let's get to the civilian spawn because they respawned here. Okay. So, where are they? They should be somewhere around here, unless they've already respawned and got their car. But I highly doubt that. No, I think that was their car that just passed. So yeah guys, that was it for the back job. So guys, this last job, 
for me is the most exciting job. Just wait till I show you this. This is the garbage collector job. You pick up trash from all around Liberty County. Wait till I show you guys. I'm gonna make a right here. Okay, the light's green and right turn. Okay, just down the road. Here, the Liberty County Waste Center, or LCWC for short. I'm gonna pull up in front, put my parking brake on, press P, and yes, I'm gonna step into the middle of the yellow circle, start the job. And I have a very nice uniform here, very realistic looking. So, the main thing about this job is the garbage truck. Okay guys, I have spawned the garbage truck. I'm gonna pick up trash from these locations over here. These two, in the housing suburbs. So, get our lights on, and we're off. Okay. Hello sir, blow my horn a little bit there. And I'm going to turn left here. Yes. Over here. This is my favorite job, or at least my second favorite job in the entire year, LC. So, I'm going to head here. And, excuse me, sir. Whoops, we sideswiped that pole a little bit, but I don't think that matters. Okay, so it's just over there in the housing suburbs, and we are getting pretty close now. Here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the trash from the right first, because there are two there, and they're on adjacent houses, so it's gonna be easier. Stop here. Whoa, the brakes on this thing are not good. The brakes, the acceleration, and the speed. Everything is not good. Okay, so when you're picking up the garbage bin, your speed is actually very slow. So I dump the garbage and yeah, I dump it. And I'm just gonna return this. Actually, you should all you should always put your truck a little bit closer to the garbage bin. Okay, I'm just gonna move closer to this house here. Okay, slow down and stop. Yeah, I think that's close enough. So pick up the garbage bin, dump it, and place it back. So let's run back to the front, and we have one last place to go, which is over there. So turn left and over here. Okay, and we have reached our final pickup point. I love the name of this truck. It says whack instead of Mac. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so pick up the garbage bin and hop closer to the back of the garbage truck. I dumped it and I place it back. This is a really, really cool job. Let's head back to the Liberty County Waste Center and empty our load. So I'm gonna set a waypoint for the Liberty County Waste Center. It's just here. So waypoint is set. And I'm just gonna go. Okay. Let's make a right here. Make another right here. And it's just smooth sailing from here. I'm gonna make a left turn at the end of this road. So let's put our signal light on. A left turn here okay and I'm gonna pull up in the, the parking lot of the Liberty County we sent here so there and throw the truck into reverse drop it off into garbage drop off number one and there we go now we we toggle the gate here. You can only toggle the gate when you're inside the Liberty County Waste Center. The waste is gone. Close the gate. And here. So 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.